people. What's up? How is your mama doing? How is your mama doing? Uh, this one you see in front of you is named uh, Jody Bell. Uh, she's 29 years old and she did the most fucked up thing. She lives in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. That's like, I mean, it's probably like a few hours or a few minutes away from where I'm at. From where I'm at whatever, but this woman did some. I said, to me, I would to me, I never thought a parent would do this, but I, I thought a parent, I was, like today's society, you'll see a parent kill their child over petty shit. Like I did a video about the Facebook, the mother that killed her baby because of Facebook. And there's people fighting over, the, over that video about the situation. To me, I like the people that's taking up for me and actually saying, if you put your child, if you put Facebook before your child, then that's fuck, then it, there's something wrong with you. But this woman did something I thought it was more fucked up in, in many ways. This woman left her nine-month-old child in her apartment alone for several hours. And it happened on Saturday, but it's been told on uh, to the uh, to seventeen, the seventeen. So, and it's it's kind of funny that this woman did that. Child services took the baby away. Actually, took uh, and her two children away from her. And that's a good thing. I'm glad that they did that. The the kid's been placed, but the the nine month old and the other child has been placed with family members so the, um, Jody Bell has been charged with charge of child abuse, child abuse and neglect and her bond was $2,500 to me it's like this you do not leave your 9 month old child or any child at home so you can run to a fucking party on the other side of town that's fucked up that any parent would run across town just to party. I said, see now, some of y'all probably would have been saying, "Oh, after you you gonna throw a race in there?" No, I'm not gonna throw a race in there. But it's like this: Why would you sit there, knowing you got response? This woman's almost thirty; she's twenty-nine years old. Twenty-nine years old, almost fucking thirty almost fucking 30 and she leaves her kids just to go to the other side of town to party and y'all thought to me in my mind I think in my, I, I, I think about this in my mind so much because you hear about this shit and it really throws you off and it threw me off because it happened because it, it threw me out because this woman sat up here and put a damn party before her fucking kids and then didn't even think about the consequences of her actions. She's 29, 20 fucking nine years old, and she leaves her kids at home by themselves. I don't know how the other child is, but. The infant is nine months old. The damn nine month old child cannot take care of itself. Cannot change its own diaper. Cannot feed itself. Cannot do anything to take care of itself. But this woman didn't to me this woman didn't care two shits a fuck about her kids, but it seems like she cared more about the it seems like she cared more about the party than she did her kids. And to me, it like it's like it since she did this shit, did she put her child put a party before her child? I would have just left. And to me, not left, but I would have took her ch children and said, "No way, fuck you! Since you can't be a parent, and you want to put your kid uh, put a party before your kids, you don't need the responsibility. You don't need kids, so we're gonna get put your kids in foster home." Because all you done is went to a party and left your kids home alone. I wouldn't even give the kids to her fucking family. But 
but it makes no sense though how this woman did that to her own for kids and I I just don't know what to say I I just don't know what to say because it's sad that any parent would do some shit like that will go out and will actually go out and go to a fucking party and leave their kids at home and and you, and, and you wonder why is the world so fucked up today you got parents killing their kids you got parents leaving their fucking kids at home trying to take care of themselves I sat here and watched the damn Watch Doc, I was watching Dr. Phil the other day and this girl named Lauren I don't know her last name because they didn't want to tell, it, tell, you, tell her last name uh, uh, this girl named Lauren she was 6 years old she's been left in the closet for years her mom's name was Barbie no, her friends called her Barbie and her stepdad was named was Ken I shit you not look up on Dr. Phil website whatever and and the parents the parents this is what the parents they locked this little girl in the closet and left her for days this is not the mother this is not Jody Bell's story the, the one I'm supposed to be talking about but this is the one that left her kid in the closet for since she was the girl looked like she was six years old but she was eight her fucking parents been locked up for ten years and she don't want to have nothing to do with her parents but back to the story uh, at hand that this woman left her two kids at home one's an infant the other one's just a minor so neither one of the children know how to take the, take care of themselves but this woman thought it would be the best thing just to say take care of yourself you're hungry look at it it makes you question be question parents today makes you question parents today because they either kill them, neglect them, abuse them, so on. If put them in harm's way, where uh, put them, in, it, it, it just mind-boggling to see this is going on. That that these people these people sit up here and have these kids and then neglect them straight off the bat straight off the bat and it's just it's just some fucked up shit to do that fucked up shit to do is to sit up there and abuse your kids like that because you wanted to go to a fucking party like if I was in that person's shoes if I was in that person's shoes and somebody told me, call hits me up or whatever, it'd be like, hey, Afro Joe, what's up, dude? Oh, man, there's this fly-ass party going across, the, going across town. Fly-ass party, you know, over there by such and such town. Yeah, coming out now, you go come. Hell no, I got a responsibility, dude. I'm to take care of my fucking kids. Y'all probably say, no, I'd be like, no, Afro Joe, you know, you would have went. No, I wouldn't. No, when when I got if I got kids, my job is to take care of them. Kids they ain't about rushing to no fucking party and getting my party on and all that shit because it's not my motherfucking job to do. And say fuck you and I'm going out. And then and and the, and, and I just and it fucks you up. To me, it's fucking me up because this woman did this. 
that this woman did that, that she actually rolled out on her kids like that, not even thinking twice, not even thinking twice about her kids. Not even thinking twice. Now, this is happening in Tennessee. Now, this, it was bad enough, what was it, a few years ago, it was bad enough that these damn teenagers were smoking weed and blowing the smoke in the kids' face, making them... So, so what you talking about out from a few years ago? I've seen it's been on the news, newspapers, media, and all that. And I don't, no, I don't believe the media, but it was out there, and it was actually these kids posting this shit up on YouTube. And it was on YouTube a lot that these kids would be babysitting their little brothers and sisters, or their little nieces or nephews, or their own baby, little teenagers. This dude was baby. This this kid, he's black. Uh, he's but like 17 or 18. Uh, he was babysitting his little brother. So he sat there and he was smoking weed in his friend in his house with his friends. He was sitting up there blowing the smoke in his brother's face, passing, him, making him smoke and all this shit. And he was recording it on fucking. Recording and they posted the shit up on YouTube and it pissed me off. I was like, I heard y'all how come you didn't do a video about that? Back then I didn't want to do videos about this shit. I was doing it, but it pissed me off to see that. Then the fucking other parents, these two parents, I thought it was just stupid as shit. It's been on the news and all this and that. This couple, this white couple, this teenage white couple, you could say, oh, you're gonna race this thing. No, I just missing the black kids fucking up. Now I'm missing the white, two white kids fucking up. So you can't really say that's racism. But uh, this white couple was taking care of their child, and they were smoking, blowing, eating. The baby daddy was in the birth recording and laughing. So was the mother. She was laughing. So that was puff puffing, giving the blunt to the child. The child was puff puffing, all this and that, and they was passing back and forth and doing all this shit. So they ran out of money. They ain't had no money. So what they do, they was going to pawn off their camera they had. Instead of being geniuses, taking the tape out the damn camera, they took it to the pawn shop. So the pawn, o the pawn owner gave, took it and pawned it or whatever. And he saw there was a tape inside and he watched the tape. It was the couple that came in. And he was on them smoke doing smoking weed and blowing smoke and making them child smoke a blunt. They said he called the police, had them arrested. It's it's gotten to a point it's more fucked up. If it ain't the teenagers fucking up with the kids and trying to come it ain't if it ain't the teenagers trying to make them smoke weed or kill their kids, it's the fucking adults that's doing it. Like if you ain't gonna take care of like a good friend of mine, Bone, said this is why they should, some of these keep, this is what my friend Bone said, says this is why certain people shouldn't have kids, because the shit they pull, and I sit here, and I sit here, and I look at this woman, and she's hitting 30 years old, and she knows from right from wrong. And she leaves a fucking nine-month-old child in the house by her fucking self? What was she thinking? Was that party more important than her own fucking child? Because she's going to sit there. Hey, I'm going to roll to a party. I'm going to have me to fun. My damn child can take care of them. Damn baby's nine months old and you going to roll to a motherfucking party. Yeah. I know half of the people that, that's going to watch this going to probably do the same damn thing. Go roll to the damn party and have all this fucking fun. If you say, fuck, well, whatever. No, but it's fucked up how this woman did this shit. It's not my fault. It's not the next person's fault. It's this woman's fault for not taking care of her responsibilities and taking care of that fucking child. Because that child's more important than that damn party. And I, and, oh, it's 
just it's just fucked up that how this woman did this shit, man, thinking it was the best thing to do. Now I'ma put the story in the description box. But I just don't get it. It's gonna leave her baby in the house to go to the party. She didn't even call a babysitter. She didn't ask her family, can you babysit while I go out tonight? This woman then sat there and got ready to go out and said, fuck you, baby, I'm gone. And that's the worst, that's, that's, that's very fucked up and, and stupid of this woman to do. I'm glad her kids got taken away from her. If she can't be a responsible responsible parent, she don't need to have kids. Because that's all it is to it. If you cannot sit there and take care of your kids and you put something before your kids, why do you have kids? That's the question. Why do you have kids if you're not going to take care of your kids? Maybe because these people is, is dumb enough drinking the rat poison or something. Damn re re motherfuckers digging the booty ass real with the KY jet looking ass boy or whatever man because it, it, it just seems like the world is coming to an end because every day you're hearing something about a parent killing their kids neglecting them leaving them at home letting the kids do whatever the fuck they want just not giving a damn about their kids uh, but when I speak but the funny thing about it is man I'm not going to compare this story to the muck Facebook mother that committed to, to kill her baby. Well, kind of gonna do it. Kind of gonna do it because she pulled the same thing. She put something before her own kid. She put it. Same with the mother of Facebook. The woman that killed her baby because of Facebook, she put the Facebook. She put Facebook before her own child. So she killed her child. Just be on Facebook. So that woman put something before her child. Same as this woman, Jody Bell. She put a party before her own fucking child. And then people gonna jump my I know people gonna jump my You wrong for saying that you can't blame a party for you can't blame it. No, but they put the party, they put the Facebook, they put whatever before their child. If the woman didn't hear about a party, if the woman didn't know about a party going on, maybe the woman would have been at home taking care of her kid. Instead of being some locked up bitch. I bet she kicking herself in the ass right now. Oh, why did I go? Because you're a fucking retard. You're a fucking re rat. You're a digging the booty ass. You're a dumbass bitch. Go leave your nine month old child in a fucking house by herself. His or herself. Just to go to some fucking party that all your fucking friends with. Could have asked one of your relatives or one of your friends to babysit your baby so you can go out to this party. That's what she could have did. But no, she puts a party before her kid and she got in trouble for it. When you pick the actions, you pick the consequences. That's how that shit rolls. You can't sit up and, uh, and say, well, I wish I never had the kid or whatever. And that's what's wrong with parents today. They sit there and have these kids. Oh, they all happy they have kids. When they had birth, give birth to the kids. And after they give birth, then that's when they gonna start neglecting the fucking kids. Right after they give birth, that's when the neglecting gonna come in and abuse gonna come in. Because the one thing is, they wanna do something else besides take care of that baby. When you have a kid, you can't do nothing else but raise that kid. There's no more parties. There's no more fucking going out to the movies. There's none of that shit. Your ass is gonna be at that house, man, chasing their fucking diapers and feeding them and birthing them and doing everything under the sun just to teach it, just to take care of that child. You gotta teach that child from right from wrong. You can't sit up there and neglect, neglect the child by going to a fucking party. It makes no motherfucking sense on how these motherfuckers today have kids and they want to abuse them or neglect them today's society. Thinking it's okay. Thinking it's okay. This is why teenagers fuck up so quick because they learn from dumbass parents like them. It's people like her to teach his kids how to fuck up so quickly because they don't want to act right. 
I'm a 30, I'm a pushing 30, and she didn't want to act right and neglect the kid. The damn child's gonna do the same damn thing because she wasn't smart enough to teach her kid. That's stupid. I'm blaming this woman more than ever because she went somewhere, she went to a party to go, she went to a party just to have fun and say, fuck the children, fuck whatever. Man, but ladies and gentlemen, this is oh this this bitch pissed me off, man. Because why would you ever do something like that? Why would you ever do something like that? And then, well, ladies and gentlemen, this this Afro Joe ten like T I E S again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel Celo Junior Two and Celo Junior Three. And I'm gonna say this again. This bitch is dumb as fuck just to sit up there and put a party before her own fucking child now she's paying for it she don't need to have no kids if she's not going to take care of them that's how I look at it that's how I see it when you do something wrong like that man that shit's going to come back on you like a motherfucker and that's how it is, because this has been Afro Joe Tenlick, T-A-S, Peace, Love, and Afro Grease.